Hi guys, it's Vander. We are here at PAX East and I'm talking to Jen Hammer and Sons. Now, I personally have been following them for quite a while, as they know, um, but we have Connor and Joe here. Um, guys, how did Jen Hammer start? Uh, I believe we were sitting in my living room uh, six years ago and we were talking about how... Uh, to become rich and famous on the internet. Yeah, something like something along those lines. <laughs> some of the lines of uh, becoming rich and famous and you getting some of them internet monies. And uh, the conversation inevitably landed somewhere in the neighborhood of, it's funny that D&D has all these decks of cards that are magic and uh, they don't, a card, here's a card company, Wizards of the Coast prints cards. And they want you to pretend with other cards that this is a deck of cards rather than make the deck of cards. And uh, so we found this niche and uh, we just started doing it. And Right now, you guys just completed your Kickstarter for your uh, your big boy, the Gem Hammer Grimoire. Uh, any big details that you can share and would like to talk about right now? Sure. I uh, need to talk to legal about this. Hold on. Let me get the DNR. Uh, no, that's not it. That's not that right acronym. Um, well, uh, we haven't talked about the advanced familiars yet. Uh, that uh, Kickstarter. Um, backers haven't got a lot of information about that. Uh, the advanced familiars are going to work uh, as a series of feats. So there'll be feats that you take where first we'll access the advanced familiars, which will be a level one, a CR1 familiar, uh, which is not something you typically have access to. Also, the familiar will have an attack, which again, something you don't typically have access to. And then the other feats will unlock different types of creatures. So. Uh, monstrosities, celestials, etc. Uh, you'll be able to have as familiars, and the grimoire will contain examples of those f familiars that fit the mold of advanced familiars. Anything specifically for you that you're hyped about? What I'm most hyped about is I think we promised 30 magic items. I think we're announcing for the first time it's over double that. It's over 60 items in the book uh, that's coming out uh, this summer. And I also saw there was a lot of spell, new spells coming out, and you have something called epic spell casting. Now, if I remember correctly, you used to go above level nine for spells. Is that what you guys are kind of reintroducing, or is this a totally separate thing for the epic spell casting? It is pretty much a reintroduction of tenth level spells. Um, it will also work by feats, where you have you gain a, a, a feat, an epic level feat, and there are some ridiculous things that you need to do to obtain that feat. But once you have it, you will be able to have an epic level spell. Um, you also have to like complete a task to have access to that spell in the first place. Uh, from there, you can continue to take that feat to either gain an additional epic level spell or have being able to cast that spell a second time per day. Now, just a quick thing for me to know. Do you guys have separate expertise on anything in particular? Or is like if I ask one of you a question, you both know every single answer to all of them? Uh, I'll take that one. Um, definitely, we are a team. Uh, and there's things Connor does well and things I do well. But by working so closely together, especially on something as, uh, I'm not going to say the word intimate, but um, yeah, that word, uh, as writing, writing whole new rules for Magic in 5th edition, uh, Anything he would know about the book, I know about the book. We're meeting at least once a week on this thing and then going apart and doing more um, more writing, more uh, tweaking of the rules for mana, tweaking of this spell, that spell, this magic item to make sure that the grimoire is a product we're really proud of. Awesome. So, and this grimoire is, is sort of a compendium, right? So you have new feats, new classes, new just about everything. Do you guys have, I know you have other adventures, I'm because I've seen them before and I've played them before. Do you guys have any adventures in this in particular? Or is that sort of, is this sort of just like an you add it on to like Tyranny of Dragons or Eberron type deal? Uh, there's no adventure component to this book. Uh, we will be putting out more adventure content uh, in the summer. Uh, we are actually teasing out the idea that we're going to have a Patreon with monthly content and adventures will be part of that. We're going to bring back the side quest Saturdays, which people liked and we're sad to see go. Uh, but once those are back, we're going to get more of the adventure books rolling out and more content. And uh, whose idea was it for the Valentine's Vault? Because that was also a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. I was, Valentine's Day was Friday, I think Tuesday at 11.30 p.m. I send this guy a message like, hey, if we did love potions, do you think we could get art and have that ready for Saturday? And he's like, yes, absolutely. And then all the other things that got added to them, uh, the uh, reprinting of the love spells. Uh, I don't actually know what else is in there. Magic items. There are a couple magic items. All of that was, yeah, we've got, we've got love potions, but let's continue doing them 
um, and let, let's add more stuff to this, make this product uh, even better for the people who are following every week who are on Twitter. Uh, and I think the best part about it is, I think I sent you seven, and you said, let's make one more so we can have a love potion number nine. And we put that one in there, and that's it, that's a wrap, wrap it up. We've got a product we're proud to give out to uh, our community and anyone else who gets watching. references or, you know, R&B references to the oldies, one way or the other, however you look at it. That's what makes it a product we're proud of. Now, uh, I've been following you guys for a while. Uh, we, I've known about your um, deck of many things, your expansions from that, and obviously anyone who goes to your website knows about your grimoire because how can you not hear about this thing with everything? Exactly. Which is a good marketing technique, let me say. But um, is there any other specific, you guys do a lot of different products. Is there any particular product that each of you really love, like are really passionate about? I think my favorite product that we have is definitely the Deck of Wonder. It's a 100 card deck of random magic spell effects for a Rada Wonder, Wild Magic Sorcerer, Wild Magic in the world in total. Uh, it's so good, I believe it's the only one that we have an alternate version, the uh, Not Safe for Work Deck of Wonder After Dark, uh, which is the same product, uh, but uh, only for adults, uh, I will say, because we're on camera. I'm going to say the Deck of Illusions. Uh, the Deck of Illusions was something that I threw together like over the course of a couple weeks. Uh, it wasn't like planned. We had no intentions of making it. Uh, and it was right before we had launched the original Deck of Many Things Kickstarter. And I was like, oh, what if we had a Deck of Illusions? And I just threw it together on my own. And uh, I was almost embarrassed because I didn't think it was that great. But uh, more often than not, people comment on they like the Deck of Illusions art and style more than the deck of many things. And I, and I was just blown away by that. And like the more I'm confronted with that, the, the, more, the more I love it. So I've just come to favorite that one, even though it's, it's kind of like the dark horse of our products. Uh, we sell one everywhere we go, but we don't sell them in the volume of everything else. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was about to ask you, and you actually brought it up, which was great, is um, in general, a lot of your products seem pretty family friendly, except the one definite. Um, so for most of your products, say like the Grimoire and stuff, what what age, age range would you say be, who should be picking this up? What age range do you think? Uh, I know that Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons, the stuff that comes from Wizards, is set at PG-13. We're shooting for roughly that. We may miss it. Our standard practices board is him and I, who might keep a joke that's a little on the line because it's super funny. Um, but that's what we're shooting for is PG-13. Uh, definitely anyone that's playing D&D in a serious way uh, can and will enjoy this. If you're in high school, even mature middle schoolers, I want them grabbing the grimoire and playing with it. And even the uh, products that we've made that have been very adult in nature, we have slapped not safe for work, uh, after Dark, uh, adults oh, only yeah. all over it. Uh, the um, the uh, Not Safe for Work weapons pack, for example, uh, is just objectively for adults, and we go out of our way to make that very clear on the cover. Very appreciated for those little kids that you really don't want them to grab. You I'm not even gonna. I'm not going to even mention it, to be honest. At, at conventions, because uh, we, we don't want little kids. Being, What's this? <laughs> so where is the best place to grab your guys' stuff? Obviously your website, but is there anywhere else that you'd say? We're on uh, Drive Through RPG, but a very limited selection is on there. Uh, we will be expanding what's on there in the next six months to a year. Uh, not like it's going to take us that long, but like we're going to start rolling this stuff out. Uh, we're going to be taking the decks of many things down from there and then putting them back up there because like we changed how the cards look between the original release and presently. Uh, but primarily our website is how you're going to find us. Anything physical in stores or anything like that that we could expect sometime? There are so there are. Uh, Lots of mom and pop, uh, friendly local game stores in the New England area that carry our stuff. Uh, I think what Connor means to say is that if you want to see the wonderful Gem Hammer products at your friendly local game store, tell the manager or owner to go to gemhammer.com and look at our retail packs so that they can keep getting more better game stuff in their store. Good way to put it. Uh, again, Joe, Connor, thank you very much. It was great talking to you guys. I love your Gem Hammer products. Um, this is Vander at PAX East, uh, showing you some local, really awesome D&D &D nerdy stuff. Uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs>